Good morning, children. Today we are going to learn a lesson. Ah, uh, sorry, it's a poem from your poetry section. The name of the poem is "Somebody's Mother." It's written by the poetess Mary Dow Bryan. So, in this poem, we are going to learn about the kindness and the sympathy towards the needy people. If you happen to come across such types of people, as shown in the pictures on page number ninety-one. How do you think you can help them? Share your views with your partner and our classmates. So you are looking at some pictures on page number ninety one, and you see so many people. They are feeling very helpless with some problems physically. Some of some of them are uh, blind. Some of them are um, limping. Some of them you know, are uh, old aged one. Uh, such kind of people are seen in these pictures. so obviously they need our help so what kind of things can what kind of help can be rendered towards them so how do they feel if we show some sympathy to her some helpless some help to them how do they feel so let's learn through a poem so here we are going to learn about a old age woman and a boy who helps her and how both of them feel about their works about their uh, things happen to them So let's start our poem. The woman was old and ragged and grey, and bent with the chill of the winter's day. The street was wet with a recent snow, and the woman's feet were aged and slow. She stood at the crossing and waited long, alone, uncared for, amid the throng of human beings who passed her by, nor heeded the glance of her anxious eye. down the street with laughter and shout glad in the freedom of school let out came the boys like a flock of sheep hailing the snow piled white and deep past the woman so old and gray hasten the children on their way nor offered a helping hand to her so meek so timid afraid to stir lest the carriage wheels or the horses feet should crowd her down in the slippery street at last came one of the merry troop the gayest laddie of all the group he passed beside her and whispered low i'll help you across if you wish to go her aged hand on his strong young arm she placed and so without hurt or harm he guided the trembling feet along proud that his own were firm and strong then back again to his friends he went his young heart happy and well content she is somebody's mother boys you know for all she is aged and poor and slow and i hope some fellow will lend a hand to help my mother you understand if ever she is poor and gray when her own dear boy is far away and somebody's mother bowed low her head in her om that night and the prayer she said was god be god kind to the noble boy who is somebody's son and pride and joy mary do brian so this is the poem what we learned so far so let's learn the meaning of the poem one by one so here the woman was old and ragged and gray and bent with the chill of the winter's day so here we see a woman uh, standing somewhere and where is she looking she is looking very old and ragged and gray wearing the rag clothes means the old and torn clothes she is wearing and because of the cold she, her skin became very gray kind of with all the dry skin she is looking gray and bent with the chill of the winter's day and her body is bent down why it is bent down because it's a very cold winter's day it's very cold and it's a winter's day obviously there will be coldness and her body is bent because of cold the street was wet with the recent snow and the woman's feet were aged and slow and moreover the street where she is standing it's very wet because of the snowfall recently there was a snowfall occurred and the road is wet and the woman's feet were aged and slow 
because of the snow she could not cross the road very fast because the roads were very slippery she could not cross the road fast now let's learn the meaning of the second paragraph she stood at the crossing and waited long alone uncared for amid the throng of human beings who passed her by nor heeded the glance of her anxious eye so where is she standing she stood at the crossing and waited long she is standing at the road crossing she wants to cross the road and she is standing at the crossing and waited long not for a short time she is there for a long time she has been there waiting for crossing the road and she is not able to cross because of the wet road alone uncared for amid amid the throng means she is standing over there many people are there but she has no her own people she is alone she is uncared means nobody is there to take care of her and she is standing among the other people who are from outside not her own people of humans beings who passed her by nor heeded the glance of her anxious eye so many people are crossing her and going but nobody cared for her nobody looked into her eyes and nobody could understand what she needs everyone is just passing her and moving away but nobody thought of helping her nobody thought of understanding what her problem was the next paragraph passed the sorry down the street with laughter and shout glad in the freedom of school let out came the boys like a flock of sheep hailing the snow piled white and deep so here we see there is something happening so what is happening suddenly down the street with laughter and shout so suddenly in the corner of the street there was a shouting and laughter who is shouting and who is laughing glad in the freedom of school let out came the boys like a flock of sheep so children are coming boys are coming out of the school 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 got over and all the children are coming out of the school they are so glad means they are so happy and they are feeling very freedom of coming out of the school so they are shouting they are laughing and they are coming hailing the snow piled white and deep how they are coming they are very happy with the snow they are welcoming the snow they are they are touching the snow they are looking at the snow they are so happy they are coming and they are looking at the the pile of the snow they are very happy to see that it's the very snow is very white and deep and the children are enjoying the snow falling on the road and coming now the next paragraph past the woman so old and gray hasten the children on their way nor afford a helping hand to her so meek so timid afraid to stir so now yes children came and she children she crossed that woman and she went so woman was standing old woman was standing and children are coming towards her and they crossed her also and they went but still the woman is standing nobody uh, spoke to her nobody understood her just uh, they of them most of them they came they passed her and they went hasn the children on their way hasn means in a very faster moving faster moving so they came they crossed her and even the children went away nor offered a helping hand to her even the children did not help her children did not uh, children did not did, uh, did not ask what she wants so the woman is still standing at the crossing she is looking so meek meek mean very helpless and so timid very small and afraid to stir she is so scared to move even because there are many vehicles are moving and she is so scared now the next part less to the carriage wheels are the horses feet should crowd her down in the slippery street at last came one of the merry troop the gayest lady of all that group so now lest the carriage wheels are the horses feast means she is so scared of the uh, uh, carts and the horses over there 
at the time there were no buses and cars when the poem was written so there would used to be horse carts horse and carts so she was so scared of moving on the road because of the uh, carts wheels at any time uh, they might have hit her so even the horses might have taken her under their feet so she was so scared of those carts and carriages and uh, should crowd her down in the slippery street so she felt that she they may hit her and they may make her to fall down on the very slippery street that's why she could not move at last came one of the merry troop now one more group of children are coming on the way the gayest lady of all the group so here we see many children are coming and but most of them are very very cute and very uh, happy they are looking among them one boy looked most happier gayest lady lady means a boy gayest means very happy happy looking so he is coming and he came to her finally he passed beside her and whispered low i'll help you across if you wish to go her aged aunt on his strong young arm she placed and so without hurt or harm so now what is he doing he passed beside her so the boy came he stood next to her and whispered low whispered in her ear in a very low voice he spoke to her what he is speaking i'll help you across if you wish to go so i'll help you across if you want to go if you want to cross the road i'll help you her aged hand on his strong young arm so he took her aged hand and kept on her arm so her ha- aged hand is on the arm uh, the arm of the boy very young hand it is and he is holding her hand she placed and so without hurt or harm so now he took her to the next uh, uh, way next road so she placed she kept her hand on his arm and slowly they are moving he guided the trembling feet along so her feet are trembling shaking because she is so scared she is old aged one she is not able to stand firm so her uh, legs are trembling still he did not care just he held her hand properly and along with her shaking feet he is also moving slowly holding her tightly he is moving proud that his own were firm and strong he is so happy for his hand um, because they are very firm and strong he is able to help her because of uh, his strong and firm hand so he is so proud for his body strong body and he is taking her to the next road then back again to his friends he went his young heart happy and well content now back again to his friends he went he made her to cross the road and he went back to his friends who were standing at the corner his young heart happy and well content he is now happiest boy because he helped someone and satisfied he is because he helped a helpless next she is somebody's mother boys you know for all she is aged and poor and slow and i hope some fellow will lend a hand to help my mother you understand if ever she is poor and grey when her own dear boy is far away so she is somebody's mother boys you know so he, the boy is telling to his friend something what he is telling she is somebody's mother boys you know for all she is aged and poor and slow and i hope some fellow will lend a hand to help my mother you understand if ever she is poor and grey when her own dear boy is far away so what is telling to his friends he is telling that the old woman was somebody's mother and everyone knows that she is aged and poor and slow so he helped her thinking that even some some day even his mother old mother 
when he the boy is not there with her at the time he and his mother will be older poor and gray at the time somebody else's son will help her to cross the road so thinking that even his mother will be helped by somebody else when there is a need for her even he helped the old aged lady so this is the way the boy thought of the lady as his own mother and helped her then and somebody's mother bowed low her head in her uh, home that night and the prayer she said was god be kind to the noble boy who is somebody's son and pride and joy so here the mother the old aged lady even she is bowing her head inside in front of the god at home she returned home and she is bowing her head in front of the god and praying something for the boy what she praying she is praying in the god that god be kind to the noble boy who is somebody's son and pride and joy she is praying the god to be kind to the noble boy noble means great boy so who is somebody's son and pride and joy the boy is somebody's son he is somebody's pride and joy so she is praying the god to provide all the things to the noble boy who helped her in her life so that even their parents could feel him as very proud and joy in their life so this poem is written by mary do brine so let's understand the moral of this poem the moral of the poem is obviously there is a need for help everyone needs somebody to help them so we need to understand each one's requirement and we should be able to help the people if we help others even sometimes even we will be helped by others so in that way the poem gets over and it brings forth the importance of the coordination cooperation and the sympathy that's all for the day children thank you